Hi, I'm Haley, and I recently shopped from Club Factory, and today we're gonna do an expectation versus reality. So recently, I had two thousand rupees ka savings, and I wanted to buy a perfect black bag. So I went to the mall, and I actually already bought a black bag. But then I went on to Club Factory, and I was like, shit, things are cheap. and i could get like five black bags here compared to the one i've just bought so i went and i returned that bag and i ordered five new bags from the same amount of money so the very first bag is this one a simple black leather basic bag but you will be shocked to see it this is what it looks like so i'm leaving the picture here so we can constantly compare it looks so flipping flimsy <laughs> the button looks like it's going to come off any minute the straps are okay the sewing is fine there's just one loose thread i bought this one for 319 rupees please do bear in mind that club factory is an app which keeps changing its product prices frequently so you may not get things at the same price now they may be cheaper but they may be more expensive as well so in terms of quality the first bag gets 2 out of 5 stars it could have definitely been better in terms of affordability the bag gets 3 out of 5 Because three hundred is not that bad for a backpack. Now we move on to our second bag. This is what our second bag looks like. I have always wanted the perfect sling bag to go out and look classy, or maybe go clubbing. I got this one for four hundred thirty-seven rupees, which was a bargain compared to the other ones. Are you ready to see what it looks like? This is it. Here's the photo we keep comparing constantly. It is so well structured, but. We have been catfished with the handle. As you can see in the photo, there is a black handle after the chain, which, my friends, does not exist. The opening is the same. It is definitely. Oh wait, oh wait. We haven't been catch catfished. We have not been catfished. Where is the handle? Hey, handle hey. हमारे साथ धोखा नहीं हुआ. Okay, wait. I really love this bag now. I like my bags to be structured, honestly. And I recently bought. This bag from Zara, you can definitely see it's much more structured, but it was definitely much more expensive. This is the price two eight nine zero. Although I got it only for nine ninety, but this was still half of the final sale price. So I would use this more rough and tough, and this for like much more fancy events. But they are quite close, you see. So this bag gets a solid four point five to five for quality because for four fifty rupees, I think it's very very well made. In terms of affordability, I give it a full five out of five because cross body classy bag. Bags are usually quite expensive, so this was a steal. Now our third bag is this little tote bag. The bag I had actually bought from the mall was a tote bag for two thousand three hundred. So when I saw this bag for three fifty seven rupees, I was like, "Bhaiya, ye to thoda zada sasta ho gaya," and I was expecting it to be completely bad, like not usable. But here's what it looks like. It definitely looks deflated, but. We've got a newspaper. I love this bag especially because it's not a cheap looking leather finish. A cheap looking leather is usually very shiny, very black, very greasy, but this is a matte finish. So this little one gets a solid 4 out of 5 for quality. In terms of affordability, a full 5 on 5, actually a 6 out of 5 because tote bags are so overpriced and this is perfectly simple. No gold hardware. Just plain black all over. The next bag I have is this one. It looks very rustic, very vintagey, and this is what it looks like. Again, very very deflated. It's a kind of mystery presentating. Let us fill it fast. I did not notice. Did you notice that it actually already ripped off? Oh my god! Mystery presentating. Let us fill it fast. I am so bummed. Okay, so I'm personally going to stick it back. Apart from that, this bag was for two ninety four rupees. What I'm bummed about is that the whole bag looks gorgeous, but what looks very very cheap is the handle. It is so so wrinkled. Like even when I hold it straight, there are still these crinkled lines. And if I don't hold it straight, it's just it's just a mess. So in terms of quality, this bag gets like a. Freaking one out of five, and one also because the whole body is really nice. In terms of affordability, I do give it a good four out of five, 
because as I said, I do find it very very difficult to find simple bags like these at an affordable price. And the last bag we have is this one. So this bag was actually quite expensive. I bought this bag for 805 rupees. You actually get backpacks at this rate at Zara at this time when the sale is almost about to get over. It definitely is way better in quality than this one. You can just see the difference in how it's made. Quality, this bag gets a solid 4.9 out of 5 because I think it's very very well made. Only the inner lining and under ka zip could be way better but bahar se I think it's going to last me long. In terms of affordability, I give it a 3 out of 5 because 800 ka backpack is kind of steep. It's a little expensive for Club Factory, I feel. But yeah, this was our Club Factory expectation versus reality. I'm definitely going to leave the links of all these items below so that you can buy any of these if you want. Do subscribe if you want more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye!